Welcome back to the melee characters. So this should be the last episode before the pit king. We're gonna be finishing up a bunch of loose ends here. So let's get right to it. The first thing I wanted to do was make this super hammer. The super hammer from Juice. Hold up. Fix my headphones. Alright. So we need this, this, then the aqua hammer, and the deadly molten ham max. Uh this is the one we're making. Knight's Wrath. So that's what we want to make. But wait. Hold up. Molten Spear Tip. This is what, this is what else. This is the, this, yep. We want to make that too. So there you go. There's that. Now we don't even have a spear. So we're going to have to find something to fill in for a spear right now. That's what needs to happen. Boom. There's the Knight's Wrath. Oh shit. It's cursed. Awesome. Love cursed weapons. So moving on. We can also create this rib armor set. So let's make it. Boom, there's the rib armor set. I guess I didn't really get to use the phoenix armor set completely. Who cares right now? I care right now. A little bit, just a little bit though. Paul, do you have a spear? I want to use a spear. That's what I really want to do. Let me reforge, uh, or not reforge. I guess it doesn't even have a reforge on it. It doesn't. Whatever, I'll just re-roll it. I'll re-roll. Apparently, Nightmares Unleashed is unloaded. I don't... I, I just straight up think my, like, Terraria doesn't like Nightmares Unleashed. I reloaded and enabled every mod. And I remember looking at Nightmares Unleashed, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's enabled. But, uh, obviously not. <laughs> is this a good weapon? This possibly could be, like, a pretty decent weapon. So, there you go. There's all that. Is there anything from these that's, like, special? Any weapons from this that's pretty special? It's the pole arm. That's about it. What else is there? Let's check out. Uh, let's check this out because I want to see the granite golem spear. Isn't there a spear that drops from him? I'm pretty sure there's a spear that drops from the granite golem himself. Look at that granite warhammer. If I type in spear, will anything come up? Mm, let's see, I didn't type in spear. Spear. Look at that energy spear. Let's see if any of these are like good and are also from thorium. Aha. Bronze spear. That's a good one. I'm talking about spears we can get like this moment from thorium. And it looks like that's the only one we can get at this moment. Is the bronze spear that's good i have bronze stuff right i think i do somewhere i swear i have bronze somewhere it's in one of these chests one of these chests that's all you kidding me that's all we got oh yeah i also got this from the from farming what the fuck's the name of the event the undead horde so that's good that's more stuff for us I'm gonna, well, let's see here. Here's a set bonus, by the way. If you guys didn't, like, realize the set bonus in the last episode. The exploding. It's pretty cool. Look, look at it. Just, like, explode on someone. Like, right, boy, don't touch me. I'll explode on you. Alright, so I actually have an idea for what we can do this episode. Hold on, let me test this out. Alright, that's not bad. Uh, I have an idea. Well, this was the idea for this episode, actually. Besides the uh, slime god, we are going to actually fight the old one's army event. Because I have not done that yet in this series. But I have done it. So let's find a nice open flat area. Probably over here to the left would be the best open and flat. We'll, we're going to make it open. I guess it's open already. We just need to make it flat make this shit nice and flat let's whip out the pickaxe speed the process up just gonna go right past trees for now and we're just gonna make it nice and flat it needs to be like 61 blocks or something like that i believe so 61 blocks on each side hey man let me test out my new spear on you okay not bad too bad I gotta fucking click all the time. But it's not bad other than that. Alright, I'm hoping this this is good enough. 
It is. All right, we good to go. We got one kind of like downhill. Okay. No problem. We we got this under control. All right, I haven't done this single player, so hopefully it isn't that bad. I'm gonna try my best to stay on both sides. Uh, probably be better if I just like stay over here. Honestly, hold up. Probably better if I do this too. Get that piercing going. Should be good. I hear him. I hear him close. Boy, get your whack ass goblin bitch. Go goblin ass. What are they? Yeah, they are goblins. Okay. Ethereum goblin asses. I'm gonna switch to the rib mail set. I feel like critting will be better against this group. Undead weapons do 25% more damage, may have extra effects. Um, let's see, I don't have an undead weapon. Whatever that is. I don't like that this one's like kind of slanted downward. I do really like the old one's army, though. It's probably one of the coolest events in the game. Because it's different. Why is this. Why are ICUs allowed to fucking damage this portal? What the hell? Or not portal, crystal. What is this wave? Why is there any enemy summoning during this event? Spawning. Not summoning. Some whack shit right there. Goblin bomber. I really like the sprites for them, too. They look dope as shit. I've never played Dungeon Defenders, though. But the game does look cool. Especially since Terraria is in it now. The game got better, obviously. So, yeah, I, I think... I don't know what boss... What armor, I don't know what armor we're gonna wear. During, uh... Dude, that, that shit's really far. The one to the left feels way closer. I don't know what armor we're gonna wear, though. When we fight... Uh, Slime God. Hello? Oh, yeah, I can't place boxes. I was about to say. <laughs> Joblin throw, no problem. I'll just stand over here. Oh! You fucking kidding me with the ICUs? Juiced! I gotta go talk to Juiced about this after. <laughs> okay. The only reason my portal is taking damage is because mobs from other. Oh, there you go, it actually took damage. Mobs from other mods. It's all good, all good. Still ain't dying. It ain't going out that easily. We're just gonna use this weapon primarily because it pierces. Hello. Best weapon. Piercing weapons get you wins. Get that weak shit out of you. There's a regular zombie in there too. Defender metal, I got an orcus shield, my favorite. Oh damn, that's a big ass shield, dude. What is this dude doing? Stop. Stop jumping up and down. I don't know what kind of joy you're getting out of this. What else would be a good weapon for this? Maybe this? Oh god, my game. Oh my god, frame rate. Frame rate. What happened? I'm at 30 frames. I don't know what happened there. Alright. Or I wasn't really at 30. I was at like 37. But if I were to round it. Okay, I gotta stick to the weapon that's getting us somewhere. Like, they're trying to summon in, like, goblins and orcs from other shit, dude. They're trying to get orcs from Tremor to help them out. Get your wyvern ass out of here. Get the hell. See, they're coming from an area I can't see them, so they're gonna get a free hit every time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this ain't looking good. This ain't looking good on health. No, it'd be at, like, above half if, uh, you know, the modded ICUs and other shit didn't tap it a couple of times. It's all good. We just gotta be able to take on the boss. Get the hell out of here. We should be able to take on the boss in this next round. Who's over there? They're very bony, whoever it was. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking. Okay, hold up. Let's drink some apple juice. Apple juice will get us through this. Okay. Just kill them quick. Kill them quick. Wyvern? More like Divern. Cause they'd be diving down when they attack the crystal. That's what we need to look out for is the wyvern. Look, they got the fucking undead troll helping them out. Oh! Fuck off! Oh god. It's gonna be some good hits they're gonna get off there. Come on. Pierce through them. Pierce through them. This is actually pretty close. 
Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, I'm not stopping those guys. <laughs> oh, no. There's another wyvern, dude. Oh, no, it's over. It's over. I can't defend against all the wyverns. Oh, yeah, it's over. Yep, that sucks, dude. No! Look how close we were, too. That's bullshit. <laughs> no! We were so close, too. You fucking kidding me. We were a percent away. Okay. All right, so I made it back to round four. This time, we know what to guard. We're going to guard high against the wyverns. Because those are the actual threat here. Because their little diving attack makes them immune because they also go underground when they do it. So we got to just we gotta stay high for them. See, I can't guard both, though. I had to make sure the javelin dudes don't get close either. Okay, now... Oh, this, this actually gets pretty tough. I did this on uh, the server on the Brian's multiplayer series. And it worked out pretty well because we had one person guarding each side and plus I was a summoner. But on this, it's a little bit harder. Not much harder, but it's a little bit harder. Only because of the fact you gotta, you gotta, you know, handle both at once. But luckily this time, our shit did not get attacked. Oh my god. Did not get attacked by, uh modded monsters i don't like that this thing took damage <laughs> twice uh from fucking the the event or oh, that wave being over not the event being over all right we got it this time focus on left focus on the left side left side needs to die first see the fucking wyverns they keep going into like the floor where i can't hit them get out of here get out of here Oh my god, these dudes fly fucking high as shit. Okay, okay, okay. We good, we good. Hopefully there's no wyverns. There's a wyvern right there. Hopefully there's no wyverns I can't see is what I should say. Uh-oh. Oh, we got that one as he was diving. Yeah, I'm not getting that one. Okay, I gotta kill them and also, like, defend it. Okay, okay. No problem. No problem. There's only, uh, like, 50 wyverns. No problem. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose again. Fuck off. Oh no. I don't think I can defend it. Not against all the wyverns and then. Oh god. Like my health is even low, dude. Okay, okay, hold up. <clears throat> we almost got it. Dude, I can't fight the wyverns. And fight him at the same time. Oh my. You're a piece of shit, Dark Mage. You know that? We killed the dark mage though. Like, that I consider that a complete event. We killed the mini boss. So let us go on a little adventure here to get stuff for the slime god and also get stuff for the chef from uh, Thorium, the good one. Because if we get blueberries for him, he will actually sell us some new stuff. I think there's a lot of new stuff you can sell, but I don't know the recipes or what item specific items we need for the other ones. I do know the blueberry one. So if we get on blueberries, he'll start selling like this blueberry, blueberry, like, was it salad? I think. And then the blueberry salad heals you for like 85 health and same cooldown as the pie. But uh, obviously the pie gives you regen. The blueberry one gives you mana regen, which I don't know. The extra 40 health is, is it 40 is it 20? I think it's 85. I don't, I don't remember, but that extra health might be better than the health regen itself depends how long the health regen is i don't know there's some math that can be done they look like a weird ass plant okay so we need to go to the i don't know if the crimson's over here or not crimson is it crimson what what do we have here yeah we do have crimson uh we need to find the ebonian slime oh bars so there's actually a good couple armor sets that I'm not going to be wearing in this playthrough. One of them being the the Zeus armor set or the bronze armor set. That is a melee set. It's a melee slash throwing set. But it's not really, I don't have like the easiest access to a marble mine with tons of enemies. Like to get the eight that I needed for that spear that took a long time. Maybe like 20 minutes, which actually isn't that long given that. How many other times I've grinded for stuff in Terraria and it's taken way longer. But, 
I don't have easy access to one, so I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't know what kind of arena we need for the Pit King. But if we need like a straight line or something, we probably need a straight line. I don't know how big the Pit King is. This is the thing. I'm very interested to see how big he is. I feel like he's going to be like... I don't know. Actually, I really don't know how to explain how big he'd be. I need to see it. You know? I need to see how big he is. Where the hell are the uh, Ebonian slimes at? That's what I need right now is the fucking slimes, please. Aha, we finally found one. Holy shit, he has almost 600 health. That's a lot of fucking health. There's another one. That's a lot of health, though, for a pre hard mode enemy. Look at that. Mini boss? Question mark? Are these guys mini bosses? Oh, shit. Lore. No, okay, let's see what we can do here with this or what do we need for this we need slime crown uh 50 blood gel 25 ebon stone that's that's no problem we just need the ebon gel really is that what it's called blighted gel really all right so let's see if we can turn in this uh chef quest also just notice that we haven't fought rook i'm pretty sure because i don't have his desert claymore so let's do that the Desert Claymore is a pretty good weapon. So let's talk to the good chef. Supply ingredients. There you go. Thanks for the blueberry salad. 85 life. We're going to try it for now, alright? Let's see how it works out. Can I just summon him? No, I can't. Have we fought him? I have no clue. Honestly, there's that guy that listed the boss. The boss thing. I will scream his name at the end of this video. Don't worry. But... He listed the boss thing. I'm pretty sure I didn't see Rook on there. So that's good. When I say boss thing, I'm talking about like bosses. What bosses I fought during this. Let's fight him. Real quick then. Get that strong ass hit in. This weapon's actually not that bad. Hard to get it like really early in. This would have been definitely a carry weapon. Oh, that was terrible. Hold up. My head is itchy. Time out. Come out, asshole, my head is itchy. Alright, hold up. Ooh, look at that hit. Boom. Boom. Fucking try me. God, you're hurting me. Don't try me anymore. It was a joke. Alright, man. This is probably one of the most useless <laughs> weapons, accessory combos ever. Sorry, Diver Man Sam, but it's just ass. There's no point in using a spear, even with these. Maybe, like, really early game. If you can get your hands on uh, the silver one, maybe early game, it's okay to use. But once you get to a certain point, like I'd rather just wear like just some utility accessories, honestly. I don't know. That's just me, though. Alright, let's just beat the shit out of this guy. I guess we should use this more. Because this is actually really good. It's a really good flail. Unpleasant Desert Claymore. There you go. This is what I've been wanting for a while. So there's that. Let's actually head back. Head back, source some stuff. Do I really not have these like put in any chest? Surprisingly not. Uh, sure. Put those away. Desert Claymore, welcome. Welcome. So let's let's go ahead. Switch to Phoenix armor again. This will be our armor for this uh, king. Or a god, slime god boss fight. Boom. And then we just make it at a regular crafting thing. Boom. Alright, so now we just need a potion. Do we have Daybloom anywhere? I don't know if I have Daybloom. That's my problem. I have to have Daybloom somewhere. Just like a single... A little single thing in Daybloom. I mean, we have seeds. Maybe it's in here. No. I think I did have an iron skin potion, but I drank it. Oops. Uh, it was an accident. It was during the... Oh, wait, shit. You know, we can use this during fucking the old one's army. Look at that. Maybe I will legitimately beat it. Hey, I, kill, I killed the boss I needed to kill in it, though. Can't say I didn't. Okay, so let's... Wait, I picked up some zombie leg. Man, you want this zombie leg? Let me put the zombie leg in your face. 
Okay, let's auto trash deck. I'm pretty sure I have a bunch of those. So let's get the useful accessories out. And I guess we'll fight them right here. It's fine. Maybe I should expand to the right, away from my civilized town uh, that I'm supposed to migrate underground, but I still never got around to that. Oops, okay. Boom. Ready? Set, go. So this is the new, this is the new one. Uh, I think I showed this off at, when I updated my team on loader, I don't remember. It was towards the end of the ranger playthrough. That's when I know I showed this off. But, uh, I think I showed it off around then. I don't know, actually. But I do remember showing stuff off about this. But yeah, new, this is the new King Slime fight. It's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. There's a lot more, uh, shit to worry about when fighting him. So, if I need to, nurse is, like, top left, top left building, I believe. So, we gotta watch out for the little dude. That's one of the dudes you gotta be scared about. The, the actual slime god himself. Gotta watch out for him. That dude will sneak up on you. Get out of here with your mimic AI. Oh my god, I got stuck like right in the middle of all of them. Get out of here with your mimic AI. Whoop. Oh shit, watch out for the balls though. Watch out for the balls though. Ooh. You see that dodge? Totally intentional. Just snuck all through them. I really like their sprite. Their sprite is dope. Their sprite is pretty damn dope. Yeah, I'm feeling the uh, blueberries though. Look at that, full health. Oh shit, walk right into that. That's on me right there. Okay. So we got heart reach. So anything that does drop stuff, heart reach will be like, hey, I got you. So shouts out to heart reach. Oh, oh fuck. Oh, I got the gravity effect. You don't feel that shit in uh, pretty hard mode. Well, until now. So let's see. If we knock off one of these guys. Oh shit. That was a pretty good combo that hit, they hit me with. I don't know which one's the real one. Which one is the real? Probably the one with more health. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> I have no idea what just happened. Alright, it's all good. Now we're fighting the real man. The real man. Hold up, we need to put our other pie back up. I'm cursed. Okay. We good, we good. Are these even hitting him? Yeah, they are. So he has 1200 health. Not the hardest thing uh, to kill once we get them into this form. I'm just gonna use this because this shit homes. This shit, well, it has a chance to home. It's not the greatest homing, but there's a higher chance than anything. I mean, I guess I can use this, but I gotta be able to see him. Oh, we did it. Look at that. Fossilized plant orm has formed in the earth. Yummy. Okay. Mana overloader. Obviously, that doesn't. Obviously, that doesn't matter to us. Uh, let's quick set. I'm gonna. <laughs> okay, so. The only thing I wanna craft is the Geltic Blade. Geltic Blade. Which needs. 35 Purified Gel, 35 Gel, and then 10 Hellstone. I got 5 Hellstone. But there is a recipe for Hellstone, but I don't know how I feel about it. 15 Voidium for 1 Hellstone. Oh my God. It's all good. I mean, Voidium is way more abundant than Hellstone. It's just like a very odd trade off. But boom, bada bing. Geltic Blade Superior. Don't forget about the superior part. Let's put all this stuff away. I'm not even using this flail like at all. Hey man. Oh shit, we got another weapon that's like this. Where's that dog at? Bring your dog ass over here. How long does it go until it fades away? I think it goes infinite, doesn't it? Wait, hold up. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. So, yeah, that's going to end off this episode. The next episode, guaranteed, we're going to be fighting the Pit King.